members of the cabinet are today leading the country in commemorating International Women's Day. The president is currently speaking. Because they are threatened, because they have been blackmailed. But I, to the women of Kenya, I want to say Hongera. The women of Kenya demonstrated that they cannot be threatened, they cannot be blackmailed, they cannot be shortchanged. I want to say on this Women's Day, congratulations to the brave women of the Republic of Kenya. Pongezi. Na kwa sababu kinamama wa Kenya, walisimama na sisi, wakatupigia kura. Mimi nataka ni chukwe na fasi hii, ni washukuru wa mama wote, wa taifa letu la Kenya. Nini mulijitokeza katika sehemu zote za Kenya na mkatupatia na fasi ya uongozi, katika chama chetu na katika vyama vingine vyote. Mimi nataka ni wambie kina mama wa Kenya asanteni sana na ile kazi imebaki sasa ni sisi kushugulika na mambo yenu ya maendeleo, ya afya, ya maji na mambo yale mengine yote ambayo yanahitajika kwa kina mama wa taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nataka ni wambie hivi kina mama wa Kenya katika hii sherehe ya siku ya muhimu ya kina mama. Jambo la kwanza tulikubaliana wakati wa uchaguzi ya kwamba tutabadilisha katiba ili kina mama wa Kenya wapate nafasi yao kupitia affirmative action waweze kujumuika katika uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya leo mimi nataka niwaeleze tayari tumetengeneza bill ambaye inaenda bunge letu la Kenya so that for for the first time I want to tell the women of Kenya in the next between 12 months and one and a half years we will have concluded the program on affirmative action so that more women can join us in the National Assembly and in the Senate so that women leadership can occupy their space in the leadership of the Republic of Kenya. Tumesha kubaliana ni meongea na wabunge wengi Na hata wabunge wanaume wamekubali ya kwamba safari hii tutapitisha hii mswada kule bunge tubadilishe sehemu ambayo inahitajika eh, ndio tuongeze wa mama watakao ongoza katika sehemu yetu ya siasa. We are going to have additional between 25 and 28 women in the next one and a half years joining our National Assembly so that they can provide the much needed women leadership in the Republic of Kenya. Jambo la pili, kina mama wa taifa letu la Kenya wabunge, kutoka vya zote walinitembelea na wakaniuliza ya kwamba wanataka ile affirmative action fund ya kina mama iongezwe na mimi nikakubali kutoka shilingi bilioni mbili nimesema hiyo fund iwe sasa shilingi bilioni tatu kila mwaka mimi nawauliza kina mama wa bunge wakati wanashughulikia hiyo fund ya affirmative action wakumbuke sana kina mama katika hiyo fund jambo la tatu niliongea na huyu mrembo Aisha Jumwa na nikamwambia ya kwamba kina mama wa Kenya wameonyesha umaarufu wao kwa mambo ya biashara Women Enterprise Fund ambayo ni fund ya shilingi bilioni ine na nusu imefikia makundi karibu elfu moja almost 97,000 women groups are participating at the moment in the Women Enterprise Fund na nikamueleza ya kwamba we are going to do a few things number one Katika hiyo Women Enterprise Fund hatutawaacha kina mama nyumba kwa mambo ya teknolojia. We are going to ensure that we bring women on board the technology platform, the digital platform in the lending of the money associated with women in the Women Enterprise Fund. That is point number 1. Number 2, I undertook that in the new program we are going to eliminate intermediaries. 
pale mbeleni tulikuwa tunapatia pesa intermediaries alafu wale intermediaries wanaenda kukopesha pesa kwa kina mama wanawalipisha karibu 9% alafu mama akikosea wanaenda wanachukua mabati wanachukua sufuria wanangoa viti wanafanya yale mambo mengine sasa tumesema hakuna intermediaries saa hizi serikali tutatoa pesa moja kwa moja mpaka ifikie kila kikundi ya kina mama ambao wanatafuta hiyo pesa we are going to eliminate bureaucracy we are going to eliminate uh, uh, intermediaries so that women groups can access money directly from the women enterprise fund kitty jambo la tatu tumesema vile vile wale kina mama wote ambao wanashiriki katika hiyo women enterprise fund saa hizi wakiuliza mkopo wanangojea siku 45 tumesema kuanzia wiki ijayo kila mama ambaye kikundi ambaye itauliza pesa sasa hakuna haja ya makaratasi hakuna haja ya kujua ni nani atapatiana hakuna kupeleka form mahali popote sasa tumebadilisha mtapata pesa moja kwa moja instant hakuna tena kungojea siku 20 na siku 40 na tano na mimi nataka ni watangazie kina mama wa Kenya ya kwamba hiyo pesa 4.5 billion imekuwa hapo kwa miaka 15 mimi nataka ni waeleze ya kwamba hiyo pesa ya kina mama sasa tutaongeza kutoka shilingi bilioni ine na nusu hadi bilioni kumi na tatu na nusu in other words i want to say the following the fund that is available on women enterprise fund has been at 4.5 billion for the last 15 years i am announcing today that we are going to triple the resources available under that fund so that we can also triple the number the number of women groups that will benefit from this fund because this is the most reliable fund in fact this is the fund that has 99% success rate and therefore women deserve what government is going to do jambo la tatu mmenielewa wakina mama wa Kenya nimesema ya kwamba fund yenu tutaongeza mara tatu tutaondoa mambo ya kujuana na huyu kujuana na yule kupeleka makaratasi hapa kupeleka makaratasi huko sasa itakuwa kwa simu zenu na pesa mtapata kwa simu zenu ile maneno ya kungojea ile maneno ya kungojea siku 45 tumemaliza vile unapata pesa sahihi kwa hasla fund kwa simu vile vile hii women enterprise fund itakuwa pia kwa simu na itatumetengeneza tumetengeneza ili vile vile chairman wenu ana approve online secretary ana approve online members wanachukua pesa zao online na mambo hiyo itaendelea kwa taratibu na nimewaambia tunaongeza hiyo pesa yenu mara tatu jambo la nne nataka kina mama wa Kenya wanisikize vizuri jambo la ine Kenya yetu bado tunapika watu asilimia sabini 70% katika taifa letu la Kenya bado tunatumia kuni na makaa na hiyo kuni na makaa iko na matatizo ya kiafya kwa hiyo asilimia 